Hello guys, it's Hadar, and today we're gonna talk about the vowel pair sell versus sale. As my friend subscriber Dewey Ka asked me to explain. All right, so the e eh versus the a. Sell, sale. Get, gate. Now for some speakers, this is not a big deal. You're probably listening and saying, what's the problem, get versus gate? But for some speakers, and I get you guys, there is no distinction between those two vowels because the A does not exist in your language. So what you tend to do is to shift that A sound into a clean, neutral A sound. And then words like get and gate sound the same, sell and sale. Okay, they both sound like sell. So let's listen, look at the difference between the two. The first one is a clean e eh, as in red. Get, you drop your jaw and it's a continuous sound. You're not changing anything from one consonant to another. Let, men. But then for the a eh, as in day, you have a shift from one sound to another. It's a diphthong. And it means that you change the position of the tongue and the mouth as you pronounce the sound. Listen, a, e, e. So it shifts from an e to e, day. All right, it's not day, day, not one clean sound, but day. And therefore it is not sel, sell, but sale. So you want to close your jaw and push your tongue forward as you pronounce the vowel. But, you know, I like those little hacks that can help you pronounce the sound without thinking too much of your tongue. So what I want you to think about is just to add a y sound at the end as a, a y as in yes, all right? Think about it. It's not date. It's de y, right? That's the y sound and then a t. Date, date. So it's not sell, but if you're adding a y sound, sail. And yes, you can think about closing your jaw and pushing the tongue forward as well. Pale, gate, late. Main versus men. Now, if it feels exaggerated and artificial to you, then first of all, great, because you're probably doing something that is a little different than what you're used to, so that's good. But also remember that it doesn't matter if it's forced. At the beginning, it's going to be forced until you make it your own. So you have to practice it a few more times until you get comfortable with it and then you don't feel like it's artificial anymore. But also, even if you are pushing a bit, as long as you make a clear distinction between the two words, I think that's better. I think you have, uh, you're not gonna be mistaken for, you know, you're not gonna be saying one thing and it's gonna sound like another word, okay? So you're gonna feel clear and it's gonna be more accurate and you'll tone it down anyway with time, okay? And of course, with practice. So don't worry about it. So let me know in the comments below, how was it, it trying to practice it and trying to apply it in real speech, okay? I can't wait to hear what you, uh, what you have to say. So that's it. I hope this was helpful, Jui Ka. And uh, please share this video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye.